Don't worry about it. <laughs> and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm laughing because I didn't think that I would ever play this on the channel. But you guys on Discord seem to really want it. You were telling me to play it. You were all telling me, hey, it's out on mobile. You gotta go get it. You gotta do Let's Play. So here I am now. And before I get into it, I feel like I do need to say, since that it was a warning at the beginning. Basically, if you're disturbed, like easily disturbed, or anything like that, this might not be the Let's Play for you. I don't know. I think that it's not that big of a warning, but we'll see. I'm not quite sure what to expect out of this game. I just know that it's not what it seems. So let's get into it. Please enter your name. Is there voice acting? I don't hear it. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Sounds like Aho girl. The girl is Sayori. Alright. My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. I know that. We used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waking, waiting up. But she's going to chase after me like this. I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. There is no voice acting. Alright, I guess I have to do it. <clears throat> I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe. But only because I decided to stop and wait for you. You're not going to fool me with that stupid cute shit. Apparently this game isn't what it's advertised as, I guess I'll say. It's not what it looks like. I know that much. You aren't going to get me with that stupid cute shit. And you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Well, it kind of was. That's mean? Eh. I mean, if you're annoying, then yeah, I will leave you. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. I'll just go on. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Ha! 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 We cross the street together and make our way to the school. Just gonna say, what kind of fucking neighborhood is this? These are some really nice houses, or maybe they aren't actually houses. I think they're houses. This one's some good ass neighborhood. Have you decided on a club to join yet? Oh, I think we already know which one I'm gonna join. It's gonna be tennis. I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. We already know what fucking club it is. I mean, really. Say where he likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on <clears throat> the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Okay. I had to name the character Zero. Sounds exactly fucking like me. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. This hits a tad bit close to home. I'll go with it though. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Nope. Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. 
I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Y yay. Why did I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Because you're not an alpha. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me <clears throat> makes me want to ease her mind, at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Okay. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. I hate to point this out, I don't know if it's just because it's on mobile, or if it's actually like this, but none of those papers on the wall have any writing on them. I, I don't know why they're there. It's not a joke, I'm legit, I'm a, legit worrying about that, but we'll go with it. Sorry wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. You don't want to join that. Don't want to fucking join that. It's full of weirdos, like me. Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom. But I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you wait for your own club. Gee, I wonder why she waited. Probably because she's going to try to get us to fucking join the club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement. So I thought, you know... Know what? Oh, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Wow, you're a fucking dick. Is it really that bad? I mean, would it be that bad? I mean, you got nothing else to do. Well, actually, he does, and main games. Eh, meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Oh, only the vice president? I thought that she would actually be the president since that she's so set on getting me into it. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in the literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Who is the president, though? I know there are four girls, aren't there? I don't know. <clears throat> Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That's it, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, in real life, I would have no hope of joining this club. It doesn't even matter if my friends are in it or not. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Don't fucking do it! It's full weirdos, I already said. That's why I didn't join it. God, that would've been terrible. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday that I'd be bringing in a new member. God damn it, Sayori. <laughs> See, we have to. There's no choice. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Ooh, Natsuki. What are those? <laughs> uh, don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to acquaint all this out. I think a little bit of both. I went out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yeah, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <clears throat> I dejectively redact what the fuck did I just say? I dejected we fall Sayori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit. Being generally used to the third year classes and activities. 
Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member's here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Yeah, we haven't even joined yet. What the fuck are you trying to force me into? I glanced around the room. Oh, you're the tick girl that I saw. Okay, hi. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Okay. Okay. It's so cliche, but I think that's supposed to be. Seriously, you brought a boy? Yeah. Way to kill the atmosphere. What fucking atmosphere? There's literally nothing in this room. Oh, I know her! I don't know her name, but I know her because I saw the screenshots. Ah, oh, Zero, what a nice surprise. She's going to be best girl. I know that. I forgot her name, though. Welcome to the club. Dots. All words escape me in this situation. This club. It's full of incredibly cute girls. I'm pretty sure that the one in the middle is jailbait. <laughs> but you do you, man. I'm not going to judge. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. You three are the ones that went fucking in front of me. Alright, if you didn't want to be seen, you shouldn't have gotten in front of me. Sorry. Natsuki. Oh, that- alright, she's Natsuki. Huh. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki. It's one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. I think she's a little less than a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. I have a feeling that she'll always be moody, but okay. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. The fuck is the purple haired girl doing? <laughs> anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. This is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Which fucking one? We got one on the left and one on the right. Oh, that's her. D d d d d don't say things like that. You're named after a lesbian hentai. I think I'm gonna like you. Yuri, who apparently... Oh, not apparently. Comparably. More mercher and Timon. Seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. That's the one! That's the one. We're gonna go for Monica. <clears throat> That's right. It's great to see you again, Zero. So I'm assuming that Monica's the president. Monica smiles sweetly. Okay. Is your back hurting yet, or are you just... Are you just gonna stay like that? Okay. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked. But we were in the same class last year. Monica is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monica? Come, sit down, Zero. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. We're sitting next to Monica. Do I have a choice? Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Okay. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Hey, calm the fuck down. Then how about I make some tea as well? I, I don't like tea. Alright, I guess they're just going to decide for me. That's cool. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As they already mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to, next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a rep tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I took a seat next to Sayori. God damn it! Ah, uh, okay. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Sure. Ta-da. 
Uh, so you're not even going to show me them. I guess I'm just going to have to imagine it. Okay. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes, decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Yeah, I sure wish I could see it, but you know, that, that's cool. You guys enjoy it. I had no idea you were such a... So good at baking, Natsuki. I'm sorry my speech is off today. My throat... <clears throat> like, you heard me clearing my throat periodically. Yeah, it's just not feeling good. Eh, <laughs> well, you know. Oh god, she has the tooth. Just hurry and take one. She has the cliche tooth. Okay. I don't like Natsuki. It's so cliche, but once again, I think that it's supposed to be like that. I think that it's supposed to be cliche. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth full, and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. You gotta eat it from the bottom first, man. Just saying. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. I'm still curious how we took a bite of it. Alright, it's actually very fucking important. You don't eat it from the top. It's a horrible idea. <clears throat> oh well. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I- Oh, god damn it. She's a tsundere. Okay. So which one's the yandere? I have a feeling that's going to cover all of them. Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Yes, you have. M made them for you or anything. I thought you technically did. Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for you, 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 you dummy. It's so... <laughs> okay. It's such a fucking tsundere. Still, who's gonna be the yandere? I'm gonna vote for Yuri. She seems the most innocent. Alright, alright. I give up on Hatsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. <clears throat> Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the tea. <clears throat> teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this room? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Oh, uh, once again, I'm not a tea fan. You got any, like, Powerade, perhaps? But yeah, I've had tea. Not a huge fan. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? No. Uh, I don't think it does, Yuri, but you do you. I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Is she? How would that be impressive? Alright, I'll go with it. I guess she's cultured. That's not... Insulted Yuri walks away. I meant that... You know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me. But I at least enjoy tea. God damn it, this isn't me. I don't want any. I'm glad. I know there are choices in this game. Why couldn't I just make a choice on the tea? It doesn't even have to affect the story. I just really don't like it. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Or hell, maybe it's a different kind of tea. I only tried, uh, I think I've only tried green tea. It might be. There might be, like, different kinds that I would enjoy, but I haven't tasted them. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, 
I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. Make sure you feel right at home, okay? <clears throat> okay. But my thing is, this is like some Higurashi shit. Like, exactly like Higurashi. But, I'll go with it for now. As president of- Oh, she is the president! Alright, Monica. You're doing pretty good for yourself. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You'd probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Wait, wait, was it... That didn't sound quite right. Was that actually policies? I'm sorry if I fucked that up. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Alright, I think it was politics. I think I got it right. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a good leader. <clears throat> Sorry I'm clearing my throat so much. Once again, just not feeling the best. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Wait, do I have to write shit in this game? I mean, as long as it's not poems, I'm all good. It's gonna be fucking poems, isn't it? Of course it is. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? It, yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Is this where I choose one? Because I choose Monica. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm in literature. They literally haven't done anything yet. The only thing that you've learned so far is that Yuri can read. So, Zero, what kind of things do you like to read? I've been working on Spice and Wolf. I'm currently on Volume 8. That's pretty good. Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. Y you gotta say what manga it is. You're, you're being really fucking awkward right now. I mutter quietly to myself. I'm joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Oh, is she a manga fan? If so, then maybe I can make room in the best girl section, you know? Not much of a reader, I guess. What are you talking about? You read a manga. Well, that can change. Yeah. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Okay. You know what, Yuri? I can go with that. Um... I'm wondering if this will be important at any time. Because there are choices in this game. I That's the one thing that I do know. You do make choices. So I'm trying to remember all this. Like, maybe when... I go back in editing, I'll try to write down some of this. I want to remember that. She likes fantasy. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. 
You know what, Yuri? I like your taste. He also got nice boobs. But we can work past that for now. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. You talk a lot, by the way. I just want to point that out. Like that three line one right there? But, oh. Stories with deep psychological elements hugely immerse me as well. You know what, you're, you have fucking amazing taste. Alright, Yuri's in the weed right now. Monica, you gotta step up your game. <clears throat> Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for, for a loop? Uh, I'm not quite sure I, uh, I get that, but okay. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Fuck it, we're going with Yuri. Yuri's best girl right now. Oh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. Oh, is Monica like the big horror fan? Because if so, we're sticking with her. Or someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Through horror. Alright. Once again, I'm going to try to remember these. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. You know what, Natsuki? I fucking hate you. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What gives you that idea? Put a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It was like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! Give that back. Fine, fine. So what does Monica like? <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems... Everything you do is just, a, just as cute as you are. So he already slides up behind that Suki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Uh, you're trying too hard. Trying way too hard. Atsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Alright, bitch. You do you. Atsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. And eh, probably not. Ah. Uh. Not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. True form of writing is writing to oneself. Alright. You know what, Yuri? Uh, I don't know, though, because we still haven't learned about Monica. I still want to go with Monica, but I'm liking Yuri right now. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Eh, eh. Alright, I'm gonna go and leave the video there. This seems like, I would say an okay place to stop. I didn't think that this scene would take so long. You know, I thought that we were just gonna get introduced and then he would go back home. But it looks like this will be going on for a little bit. So, yeah, hope that you guys enjoyed this. Once again, it apparently it is not what it seems to be. Like, it's supposed to be a horror game, and it even warned me about disturbing stuff and all that. So, I'll give it time. I'll give it time. But yeah, right now, I... Uh, yeah, we're still gonna go with Monica. Yeah, I think that's how we want to do it. But, uh, yeah, that will be all. I hope that you guys stick with this, because it does pick up towards the end. As I've heard, 
I've heard that it gets kind of fucked up. Well, really fucked up. And uh, that's all I have to say. Goodbye.